Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I create this parametric phase using FreeCAD. Uh, in the Pratt workbench, I will create a new con and I go inside the con and uh, change in the height to uh, 300. So we have uh, the height of the con is 300 and it change the radius to, to uh, 100 this one to 200 so we have the shape of the con of this maybe i uh, change this one back to uh, 150 this one to uh, 30 Next, I want to create a line mapping uh, from this corner of the con from up to this corner up here, running around the con. I click on this surface, go to the curve workbench, write a sketch on surface. Inside this is a map sketch and view the section write a line mapping from this lower corner to the upper corner and you can say i have a line mapping on this surface to hide the con now i go to the part workbench i control select this line and this point and i create a sketch normal to edge okay and i create a circle in the center and i will set it to uh, set the diameter to it i also control select this uh, part and this point create a sketch normal to edge okay create another circle and set the diameter Now I go to the sweep and I select these two circles and go to sweep, sweep part. Select this one and create solid, okay? Now I select the sweep, go to the draw workbench, go to the uh, array tools and polar array. Reset point, set this to three copies. Okay, now we need to uh, make this geometry down here uh, closer, touching each other. So click on the con, the con, and change the radius. Uh, make this one smaller. A little bit more. Make this one 50. Okay, after I okay with the shape and all of these uh, geometry uh, touching uh, each other. Now we can continue. Maybe I can go inside the first gap and change the diameter bigger a little bit. Okay, simple like this. Now I click on the array, go to the part workbench, and go to the union. I have a single fusion, single solid. Uh, next, I create a new sketch in the front and create a and view the section. Create a rectangle of like this and set some dimension to it.
Okay. Now I wish to do this to uh, 100 symmetric or 200. I can just select the show go to intersection. Now I hit Shift B and select everything and hide everything. I show the common. Next, I will uh, Ctrl C to copy the con. And Ctrl V to paste it. I show the the copy. Go to the front view, and I will transform and move this one up. Before I do that, I show the wireframe. Up here, somewhere in here. Now I can show the flat line. I click on the con and let's decrease the height. Also, I change the radius to a little bit bigger. I feel the wireframe to see what's going on down here. Uh, I increase the radius one a little bit to fit uh, 70 or uh, 60. Yeah, I think 60 will be good. Now I can uh, create a boolean cut to create the empty space inside. Now I can just select these three edges and create a fillet. I double click on the fillet and increase this. Now I can just select this edge and then this edge. Fill that again. Maybe I should make the 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 upper hole uh bigger a little bit. So we can go inside here. Looking for the con, searching for the radius two, and set this to twenty. Yeah, I think it's good enough. So this is the final result. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.